Hi, I'm Shannon Zuber with Progeny and have we got an episode for you today. On this channel, we almost exclusively feature fertility doctors, reproductive endocrinologists who can share their expertise about all things fertility. But today, we're shaking it up a bit to try and get a different perspective. Today's guest is a fertility concierge. If you find yourself needing fertility treatment, there's a good chance you'll encounter someone with a role like today's guest. So let's take a little time to get to know what this job entails. Before we dive in, I just want to do the YouTube thing and ask that you subscribe, like some videos, maybe share a video that you find helpful with someone else. Those kinds of things really help. Okay, let's get to know today's guest, Mary Kelly Weber, fertility concierge at Fertility Centers of New England, a first fertility company. The role of the patient concierge is the um, devotion that we have to our patients and ensuring that we are with them every step of the way. Um, our role is a resource, the connection uh, that we have with our patients to the clinicians as well as to other team members. Uh, we ensure um, that we are alongside every patient and um, inform them of what the process is going to be what to expect um, just to uh, reassure them um, and assist them with any questions, concerns, alleviate the anxieties that they may have about the process. Sometimes the process can feel overwhelming, uh, so we're there to guide, to navigate, to assist, to follow up, anything that we could do to just assist you through this process. Infertility hits people at all aspects of their lives. This is a financial struggle, for sure, but it's also a physical, emotional, and mental struggle as well. This is why the role that Mary plays at her clinic is so important. But it's not only emotional support that a fertility concierge or patient navigator can offer. Fertility treatment like IVF can be very complicated, with many steps, so we asked Mary what she thinks patients should ask their fertility concierge before they start their treatment. What they should ask is really about the process. Um, there's a uh, multitude of levels that a patient goes through from the beginning to the end. So I think patients should ask about what the process looks like. Uh, maybe having a timeline of what each step is and how long it's going to take because it's just not, you know, you know, you start here, you make this appointment and boom, you're in a cycle. Um, there's multitude of levels that they must go through uh, to ensure that they're a proper candidate for, you know, the treatment plan that we, you know, have in place. So I think it's crucial that they ask those questions um, and ensures that they know what the steps are and when those steps takes place and the timeline of every step. 